This video is going to cover how to remit to property owners and how to print them in batch and send them via email. I'll also go through exporting this to the bank and setting them as paid. First thing we'll go through is how to do a property owner remittance. In order to do this, go to the financials tab and click property owner remittance. From this screen, you're able to choose which transactions to remit. Please note that you can only ever remit a positive amount. So the first two options here, I wouldn't be able to remit because there's a negative figure payable to the owner. The third one has a positive remittance amount. I go select transactions and remit. Here I can select all the transactions that I need to be included in the calculation of money sent to the landlord. Once I'm happy with the receipts and the management fees that I see, I can select remit transactions. If you need to top up any float held by the, for the property owner, you can make an adjustment to the float here. So if I type in 100, this is going to transfer 100 pounds onto the float statement. I can then fill in the rest of the details. Remember to always select the bank account where you're going to be sending the money from. So in this scenario, I'm going to send the money from my client account. So I'll select that one. Enter your own description and the remittance date. And then once you're happy, you can click remit to property owner. This will now show on the property owner statement as remitted and there'll be nothing outstanding there now. If you connect it to zero, this will sync through to zero as an overpayment. Please note that when reconciling the overpayment, you will only be able to reconcile against the exact amount. If your remittance calculation is slightly different to your zero bank feed calculation, you will have to redo the remittance so that it matches. If you are syncing this remittance to QuickBooks, then this will sync over as a supplier credit and you'll be able to match that against your bank feed. Next up, we can look at how to print in batch. So in order to do this, go to financials, then find the property owner payment list. Here you can see all your past remittances. In order to print in batch and save as a PDF, simply tick all the ones you'd like to print. Then click batch print PDF. Then choose the actual template. I'm happy with property owner remittance statement. Once that's been processed, you can go to the reports tab and you can see batch print reports here. As you can see, my most recent batch print is this top one here. I can view the recipients. Then I can preview each document. Here I'd be able to download it. But alternatively, you can click the drop down arrow on the right hand side and click view zip document. From here, you'd be able to download or share via email. If I go back to that section and click recipients again, I can actually edit the body of an email that I could send straight from Arthur. You could type the email and in order to enter a changeable field, you right click and select from the list. When I'm happy with that email, I can click share report with the recipients. This will then send an email to the landlords.
Another feature of remittances is to export the payment into a CSV to import into the bank account. In order to do this, go back to the Financials tab and find the property owner payment list. Again, if you select all the appropriate fields, you can click CSV export. This will download all of the data into CSV format into, for uploading into the bank. And the final feature of remittances is to mark certain remittances as paid. Now we've calculated the remittance transactions. Once the money has actually left our bank account, we can select the correct transactions and then set as paid. This allows you to keep on top of all unpaid and paid property owner remittances.